In a place called Loveland, Colorado. Please be my Valentine. I'll be yours and you'll be mine. They proclaim love from lamppost, take lawn decorations to heart, and every year even have one of these. I'm the 2010 Miss Loveland Valentine. This is a city that dances to Cupid's tune and knows what Valentine's Day means. Miss Love, Miss Love. <laughs> and this is where they share their love. People from around the world send in valentines by the box loads and volunteers carefully stamp each one on the lower left with a poem and a decoration. Then postal workers put on a Loveland cancellation and love is on its way. Bob Peterson married Joyce more than five decades ago. And does he still send a card? He has never forgotten. So. Fifty, how many years? Fifty-one. Never forgotten a Valentine's. Ah, uh, good for you. She said that, right? She, she said. <laughs> Each year since they started this in 1947, there's been a new stamp and a new poem, some reflecting the tenor of the times, like the poem from the Cold War year of 1957. Atomic missiles are super, we know, but no match for the arrow from Cupid's bow. On Valentine's Day, poetry is no shame, but sometimes, as they say, it's what's in a name. A name like Valentine's Virginia, where the cards flow in and the postmaster does 20,000 cancellations a year by herself and by hand. Or Romance, Arkansas, where the postmark reads, at the end of the rainbow. Lovebirds can send their cards to loving New Mexico. And don't forget Juliet, Georgia and Romeo, Michigan. Because Jamie Sampson hasn't, getting cancellations from both these and also Hartville, Wyoming. Even Sugar City, Colorado can say, Valentine, I love you, but to Sarah. I really enjoy this one. For this, their 16th year together, Jamie got 16 special cancellations. Chocolate goes to your hips and flowers die. These will last a lifetime. But the course of true love may be hitting a technological bump, paper being replaced by e-cards. Be my Valentine. <laughs> in Loveland, they stamped 300 cards that first year. By 1994, 300,000. This year was no match for that record. But for Betty Herter, it's not about numbers. It's about one card at a time. Betty gets the problems. Someone forgot a postage stamp for remailing or sent a card too small so she puts it in an envelope the post office will deliver. That has to be put in a covered envelope. If you are wondering why she cares so much, it's about Bob. They met at a dance on Valentine's Day in 1947, love at first sight. You know, it's our special day. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, but I lost Bob five years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. On Fe February 26th. Just after Valentine's Day. Just after Valentine's Day. So to her, getting it there really is personal, even when all these cards have is the scrawl of a small child. So we've got one here addressed to? To mommy. And one to? And one to dad. For a child she never met, Betty decorated a special envelope with big hearts. Because young or old, for one day a year, this city lives the adage that when love comes in a card, no heart can resist. Ready to go.